Okay, my friends, I really hope this is going to work out. This is Miki Okaku, who has, has a book out, The God Equation, and it's the quest for a theory of everything. Now, I don't have everything, but I have a hell of a lot more than most of them have, and it relates to the biology of the universe. And a lot of the things that have not been covered, I cover. And I'm hoping that Miki Okaku, who apparently claims to be very open-minded and fully wants to engage, and um, that's what I'm hoping for. So it's probably a very good book. He's got four and a half stars. He's got 2,400 ratings. So, you know, he's very, very well known. Everybody knows him. So, and he, they say he is engaged in everything like I am so and I have actual evidence and I have DNA tests and I have CAT scans I have specimens I have all kinds of things to talk to him about the actual history of our earth and how it relates to the God equation because you know the ancient creatures were here that they spoke of in these ancient texts and a lot of the events that happened appear to be quite authentic so Dr. Kaku, I am, I would be absolutely, totally thrilled to have a discussion with you. On the side, on Zoom, I don't care, anywhere you want, just as long as we can discuss it and I can get my information to be seen in an in a open-minded way. And I have not found that from most people that already have a position. Now, I've been told you're open-minded, my friend, let's find out. Okay, my friends, I am really, really hopeful that Dr. Mikio Kaku will engage. They, they say that he is perfectly willing to talk on subjects that he is interested in, and basically he's interested in everything. Now, he's talking about we're going out in space and so forth. Well, I posted right here to him saying, please, contact me. The sun's corona is millions of degrees, the surface only 5,000. Why? Physicists are totally stumped. They have, because the reason is we are overheating and the disastrous weather in our atmosphere is the same as on the sun. We're scrubbing through it. There's all kinds of particles in space, and Don Lincoln from Fermilab agrees with that. He says it's quantum foam. Well, we scrub through that quantum foam, and our atmosphere surrounding the Earth scrubs through it. I mean, it just scrubs, just like a tire scrubbing, spinning through the, on the pavement. And it gets hot. And that's why we have a problem. Also, this is the quantum foam that Don Lincoln speaks about at Fermilab. We also got those pictures. We also did the research and saw exactly what Don Lincoln talks about. The fixed black particle, which never changes, and the fuzzy little white particle. It's shown in red, but it's a point particle, and it glows. And it squishes and it charges up. Now, these are the things that Dr. Kaku should discuss with me. And I also want to talk to him about what's out in space. Out in space, it's loaded with biology, same as it is on Earth. We have new species. And nobody, so far, not a single one in academia will stand up and talk. Now, I read that it says, like other people who study science and have a natural curiosity, Dr. Kaku interested in a wide variety of subjects and is willing to speak on a number of them as I am. So, Dr. Kaku, I'd love to talk, my friend, and I can be very respectful, but I, I've been 10 years having a lot of research that's been totally dismissed and, and not being allowed to discuss. So, if you're the one that wants to discuss things, I got a lot of discussing to do. All right, please, my friend, let's talk. Thank you.